Hello my lovelies, welcome back to All About Jamie. So honey, what are we going to do this weekend? Well today guys, we're going to see how fast Jamie really is. How fast? Yes, I'm very slow, fast. I'm always very slow. And we're going to test out Jamie's driving skills today and see how you handle a supercar McLaren. How does that sound? Whoa! Well, I haven't been driving supercars for a while. Um, I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive, so guys, show me some support, huh? <laughs> Okay, so the first test for you is how do you open the doors? Is this try my it. birthday present, first of all? Okay. Come on! Let's try to open you the doors. Want me to drive, right? Let's see how Jamie opens the door of a McLaren. Oh, of course, geez. I'm a super car, okay. Jamie! <laughs> all right. I can't believe you underestimated me. I also can um, show my viewers how to get in and out of a super car when it's very low while keeping your modesty, okay? So always, always uh, keep two legs together. Do not ever open your legs and swing. Swing them, babies. I guess I'm not driving. Yes! See you later! Oh, it's that baby. Boy, it's one hot day. Shall we? The sound of power! Can you hear yourself? I can't really hear myself in here. I can't hear myself think. Maybe close the door. Better. I already closed the door. Ooh. Struggle. Uh, I don't think it's tight. Okay. It's tight, man! It's not tight. Oh, this is testing my arm muscles. Got to use both hands. Yes. Got it. Okay, so let's go. Oh, wow. The interiors look very, very slick. Guys, I'm not driving yet. Terence says that the funny part is to show me driving. I don't know what he mean by that. What's so funny about me driving? <laughs> I'm a damn good driver, okay? okay look at the Many dashboard. people have told me that I'm a very good driver. Okay, so can you tell people um, how many times have you had accidents in a car? In a supercar? Never. You've never crashed a car? Never. Guys, I have never crashed a car before, okay? So, I've never crashed a car before, but having said that, I remember when I got my Lamborghini 560, was it called 560? That one. Okay, so I was driving up Ion Car Park and I was like stylishly parking my car and I went too much backward and half of the car went up the parking curb and I had to call a tow truck. Okay, so we just want to ask Jamie a few things about driving supercars and sports cars. So you have driven a few in your life. How do you find them? Do you like driving supercars? Well, good question. Do I enjoy driving supercars? Well, I enjoy being seen in a supercar. I cannot say that I absolutely enjoy driving them. But when I was younger, I actually quite like driving them. I remember that my Ferrari was my super marketing car. You know that large Ferrari, what's that one called? You see, I cannot even remember the names because I don't have any other cars. So I have to say that it's my super marketing car. I could actually fit most of my groceries in them. Oh my God, this is very, very bumpy. I like a car that drives like a boat, like very steady boat. My son has got a very bumpy drive as well. And every time he drives me, I'm like, please stop jerking. Terence, can you please stop jerking? Next question. If you are driving in a supercar, 
what kind of speed should you be driving given that in Singapore you can't really drive fast? So what's the point of getting a supercar in Singapore? Okay, I usually drive at about um, 30 to 40 kmh. Which That's is, the speed uh, of my bicycle, it's not the speed of a car. Yeah, but I want to be safe. Too young and beautiful to have an accident. Let's tell people the cost of supercars in Singapore because obviously it's very okay, what, exorbitant yeah. to own a supercar here. What is this model? Okay, so we're driving in a McLaren 720S. 720S, okay. I'm yes. going to make a guess because I really don't know the price of this car. I guess it's 1.2 million. Am I right? Okay, let's talk about supercars when you get mm -hmm. it in the US, in Europe. How much 500,000. How much would a car like this cost? Mm, two okay, I think it's about like three, two to three hundred thousand US dollars. Yeah, quite accurate. I think this is a, I mean, the base model yeah, will cost you about yeah. three hundred thousand US. Yeah, yeah. Um, with options and everything will probably cost you a bit more. But okay. Yes. So that's the cost in the US overseas. But in mm -hmm. Singapore, so you're saying that it's a one point two million dollar. Yeah, car. I think it's one point two. Yeah, I think it goes for more than that. Probably it's a base price for for, for McLaren, but it goes for more uh, than that in Singapore. So can wow. you imagine? Driving a 1.5 million dollar car in Singapore, but that's driving in Singapore a 1.5 million Singapore okay. dollar car. So yeah, about 1 million to 1.2 million US dollars to own a car in Singapore is totally ridiculous. There's nowhere that you can actually beat. Even on the highway, I think at max you can go at about 90 kilometers per 90. hour. 90. If you don't want to get caught by a speed camera and get a fine, get your points deducted. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to get out the driving seat guys and we're going to let Jamie take the wheel and see how fast she goes in this McLaren. No. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get a heart attack, okay? I'm an old lady, you know. The heart is not that strong. Okay, let's show people <laughs> some of the okay. features of this McLaren and you can tell and walk people through this. What do you see here in this? Uh... I see a very tiny screen. Okay, you can use your phone. Thanks. You can yeah, connect you your phone. Like you can play your, your music. music from your phone and you can yeah. connect it, uh, you, it will play in the car. Right, you okay. have this cool feature here, look at the dashboard. Alright, okay, I'm going to convert wow. it down so you don't get distractions. You're just going to get your gear shifts. Right, okay. okay. Then, Ooh. just spin it up again. Here we go. Wow, I like that already. Yeah. Everything is touch screen here, so you have very minimal dials not to distract you from anything but the driving experience so right, I liked it I like this car a lot it's very nice experience. yeah well I hope I have a good driving experience later when it's my turn Sleek this car looks is actually really sexy. And of course these doors are just to die for. Okay Jamie, now it's time for you to drive to see how good your driving skills Seriously? are and how <laughs> fast you are. It's time for you to get into the driver's seat. Oh my god, I did not bring my driving shoes. I may have to wear Terence's uh, sneakers. I'll change into his sneakers and then I will probably drive better in them. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Now he, okay, he'll be guys, barefoot. Pray for me. Jamie is taking the wheels. Okay, let's go. Uh, these doors are pretty heavy. I need two ends because I'm not a strong girl. What are you doing, honey? I'm wearing one side of Terence's shoes. Because I feel very unsafe driving on my platformish. Uh, mm, yeah, it has a little platform on my boots. So yeah, but this shoe feels that big. Don't know whether it's safe or not. Oh my god! Seriously, do I have to try? Okay, what do I press? So drive. drive. Okay. And off you go. All right. Hang on, hang on. I can't feel the pedal. Hey, it doesn't move. I'm damn scared. You have to press the pedal. Hello. You I pressed put... it a little bit, but it's not moving. You mean I gotta press it quite hard? Of course! Sure, why? What do you think this is a toy car? 
I think I need to move front a little bit. We're just trying to procrastinate this whole driving experience for as long as possible. Step I on the accelerator. I know. Ah! It moved! Yeah. Turn here, right? No, please go straight. You can't just straight. make a U. Oh my goodness. See? I drive good, eh? I've been driving Guys, supercars when driving, you were wearing diapers. She's driving at 20 kilometers per hour. Hey. Let's see the speedometer. <laughs> Yeah, 25 kilometers. When I was driving supercars, you were in college. <laughs> Who's she talking to? I never know. You. <laughs> I could totally live with this car. Because, you know, when I go slow like that and I stop, uh, I don't like drive abruptly like some people. It's actually good for ladies like me. Okay, Jamie's driving. Boys, please. Please. We chose a very empty road for you. So yeah, I know, it's like driving school. You go straight without any traffic, so it's a safe okay. one. Oh, whoa! Oh, that, okay. that's a rough ride. Right? Now she's at 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's go slow and steady here, yes. Okay, when you Drivers hit the hump, very... please brake. Don't okay. just crash over the hump because the car is very low. Not, the suspension not as low. will be not very, very affected. Hey, <laughs> go straight, okay. please. Just go straight. Don't turn anywhere. Just have a very bad sense of direction. While we're driving, we're going to ask Jamie a few questions about the car to see what she knows about supercars. Not now, a lot. this car, the <laughs> McLaren 720S, what did you guess? From 0 to 100, how fast do you think it is? 1.5 seconds. 1.5 seconds. <laughs> seconds, guys, you heard. Jamie thinks that this car will shoot from 0 to 100 <laughs> kilometers per hour in 1.5 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. wrong. 2.8, 2.8. Wow, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I'll give it I'll, I'll give one point to yeah. her for that. Yeah, I forgot, I thought I was driving my private jet. <laughs> she thinks she has a private jet. Yeah, yeah. In, in your dreams. Dream, in my dreams. In her I dream do. she has a private ah, jet, folks. Okay, yeah, please. Leslie. Oh my goodness. Oh, you man. go la. You go, you go, okay? I'm a friendly driver, you go. Would you like Jamie to be a grab driver for one day? <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be great. Maybe we do one for charity, yeah? She'll drive you guys around for one day, deliver your food. I oh think that's god. a great idea. What do you guys oh think? Oh my god. Okay. Let us know in the comments and below. I'll drive a very, very easy car. Easy car. Oh, you mean? And tell us which car McLaren. should Yeah, which car should Jamie drive to deliver? I can or drive, to drive your you guys? car. Your car is nice. I, I like I it. I think she should be driving the McLaren for one day just to get you guys around Singapore Island. I think that'll be really fun. Okay. Do you like this car? Out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I like it because like it's very car? smooth actually for a supercar. It is actually driving pretty smooth. Let's calculate this in terms of the price compared to um, Hermes bags. How many Hermes bags do a rough estimate? How many bags do you think you have to sell to get one car like this? Depends on what bags lah. Just, just I as mean, a ballpark. Just like as a ballpark. Like you can say, I gotta sell like. A, I think I gotta sell half my collection now. Okay, let's do it. I could sell 100 bags, 100 bags. Yeah, maybe 100 bags. 100 bags? I don't know, I can't Definitely remember. not 100 Depends. bags. Depends, some bags are more expensive than <laughs> others, you know. I'm testing Jamie's maths now. 100 bags. No, I bags. failed math. Alright guys, you know there are absolutely some supercars that are just not very suitable for women driver. But I think this one is very good. Why? Is it, is it easy to drive? It's easy, very, very easy, easy to, to drive. drive. Okay. No stress, no pressure. Some of the cars that I've driven really are very hard to drive. Too low, too heavy. This one is not very heavy. The steering is good. Can I this be a daily it. driver? I think so. Yeah, really? I oh, can. Daily driver. The air condition here is superb. I must say McLaren, you guys did a good job on the, on the air conditioning. Okay, so between uh, all the supercars, Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, I mean, you have driven all three. Which one feels the most comfortable? This one feels good. Oh, now I just remembered, yeah, my Ferrari was a 599. So it was very, very spacious and it was a ah, smooth so drive. So the 599 is a GT, yes. right? A GT, so it's a bit different. It's, it's very nice. But really, there's no way in Singapore where you can really test the speed or you can, you know, test the acceleration of a car like that. I mean, yeah. it's it's really a waste for city driving in Singapore. I mean, it's just not possible. No, it's just for style. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it's uh, nice to have a car like that. It's to decorate your front porch, <laughs> yeah. your car porch. Okay, here we go. All right, can you, can you tell us your driving experience uh, since you're getting used to the car already? Yeah, very good. Yeah, and comfortable. Excellent, very comfortable. Wow, yep, I think she's See, getting I'm used to it. See, I'm very confident today already because I have already used it yesterday. Okay, so the million dollar question is obviously we know this car is crazy expensive. Now, uh, it's a million dollars. Uh, okay, so dollars. Um, the question is do you like this car enough to buy it? Yeah, why not? If I shop less <laughs> okay so now the million dollar question a mclaren 720s or 50 hermes bags which one would you get well that's, that's a, choice. a tough choice yes think about it carefully before you answer that so it's either 50 hermes birkin bags or one mclaren 720s I think the handbags can. I'm a. <laughs> I just okay. love my handbags. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> Jamie has made her decision. She has said she is going to go for 50 Hermes bags. Yes. Seriously, 50 Hermes bags over a McLaren 720s. Wow. Well, 50 Hermes bags over anything. Over anything, even a GCB. No. No, I take the G. No, of course not. That's that's not a, a, yeah, a very uh, not a fair comparison. Fair comparison. Yeah, but fifty what bags, house, fifty you know? bags, and a supercar. That's a fair comparison. I think. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Depends only in Singapore. Like. Only in Singapore. I mean, yeah. if you're in other countries, there'll be yes. less Hermes bags for for the car. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, look ugly. Jamie's driving and she has clocked about 70 kilometers per I hour. Have? Was I speeding? No, 70 is right on the mark. We don't speed in Singapore, so mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Good job, good job. That's good. Okay, well, so. You know, if my country was cooler, I would have a better driving experience actually. I may consider getting a supercar if the weather is good. I have the convertible. I. I like convertible. Yeah, but, but convertibles are not practical in Singapore. I mean, it's yeah. too hot. The only time you can actually, you know, bring the top down is probably late at night. That's true. Yeah. And who's gonna look at you when you're driving late at night, right? So. Yeah, and the air is quite dusty here, and um, yeah, it's just really scorching hot. There's no experience. There's no good experience when you're outdoors. I Guys, I can't take it. You can see that I'm like losing it already. Okay, it's very, very hot today. And why am I wearing long sleeve? I'm wearing long sleeve so that my hands won't get dark. Right? Hmm, okay, so a very practical consideration yep. for you women. Yeah. Especially if you're in a tropical country like Singapore, mm -hmm. you don't want to get dark from yeah. driving. So you gotta uh -huh. wear very long sleeves this material is good it will actually block out all the uv rays okay another question since you've been driving supercars uh, since, in I the was past, since you were like yeah like you said since you were born i don't believe that but anyway how much does it cost to fill a petrol tank of a supercar in singapore well it depends on um how many what is that cylinders that, like whether is it a V8 well, engine I mean, or... Well, I mean, this is a 4 okay. litre V8 four litre. engine, so okay. yeah. So how much were you? about $200. Wrong. You gotta consider uh, how much you, uh, you have to fill up your petrol and the price of the car and of course the, the road tax and insurance, not forgetting that. So how much would the road tax be for a car like that? Um, the road tax is 
not crazy because now it's a four liter engine it's, uh -huh. it used to be you know five liters which mm. will cost you like uh, i don't know how much the road mm. tax is now it's five thousand a year or whatever but yeah four liters is still i don't know i used to pay eight thousand over for the lamborghini yeah because i think yeah. in the past right. your dead lambo is probably like six liters or something so yeah ah, it was a bit crazy okay, yeah so i was paying eight thousand someone like me with a clear record of course I get discount <laughs> off I've had years of like keeping the perfect points never had a point deducted once I reached the what? for the turn no 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 I'm on the wrong lane I'm on the wrong lane <laughs> We come to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Oops. Let's go home. Don't forget to subscribe.